Hello everyone, today is July 28, 2024. I am coming to share with you guys a dream that the Lord gave me and He wants me to share with you guys. Last night I had a dream where I saw Bruce Jenner um, being like very strong and fighting someone and I was in the dream saying, I wish I could be that strong but not look like a man. And then suddenly he becomes Spider-Man. And I saw like he had something that was like transitioning him from being in a real life scenario in front of me, going inside like a screen and becoming Spider-Man in the movies. And I was like, um, not knowing what this means, but I will share with you the interpretation after I share with you the rest of the dream. I saw in the same dream, um, somebody saying that Costco will no longer have any products for any of us available. Costco is not going to have any more products, so sto store up it, anything you can that you may need because we're not going to be able to buy from Costco anymore. And then um, also in the same dream, I saw um, an army of soldiers, but they were not like in real people. It was more like Lego type of thing. Like it was weird. I don't know how to explain it, but it was like it was an army, a military army, but it was like not human maybe it has to do with ai and what's coming so um in prayer this is the interpretation of prayer is pretty much um the lgbtq community is gonna get a lot of power because the media is exalting them like the media guys it's always been the generating force that modifies everyone's behavior and their ideology and they are they through the media they are brainwashing the masses into thinking that the transgender people and the homosexuals are brave people and very courageous even though now it's actually becoming something that is not so hard to do to come out of the closet because everybody is accepting of them the majority of the people um, but in this dream, it was like, God showing me, they're going to have a lot of power, like a superhero type of power. And it's going to be mainstream, like everywhere they're going to be empowered by the media. And because of it, they're going to be very strong. And it's, this is an agenda guys, David Wickerson prophesied this in the seventies. Um, he said that the, in the end times, the, the gay community was going to be Christianity's number one enemy and that they were going to persecute us brutally because of not agreeing with their um, agenda. And so also the part of the Costco thing, the Lord was exhorting me to exhort all of you, make sure you have things to um, to eat that are non non-perishable because we only have very few months maybe like something's going to happen. The war is coming. And I saw the soldiers. And I think it's the thing about them not being just human. It was more like they were like Legos or like a cartoon type of thing. It's, we're not just fighting against humans. We're fighting literally aside of the demons as well. This is a battle. This, this war is not going to be like most wars that has ever been fought in the human, in the human history because they got technology that is beyond our, our wildest imagination and they are literally um, spying on us through all of our smart devices and they are going to make the money digital and they're going to attack us in so many ways that is not even needed anymore for somebody with a gun or with a sword like like they're fighting us with different weapons in this era and especially with the health you know they're camp trailing us and they're putting poison and 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 fluoride in our food and water and they're destroying us in so many different subtle manners that it's not even necessary to have a war but the war is still coming so i'm just coming out here very quickly you guys to exhort you all to if you haven't prepped start prepping get ready i also saw in the dream a flood and the feet were like soaking wet because there was like a flood and I'm sure that the natural disasters are coming. Maybe perhaps the hurricanes, maybe Florida soon is going to get a hurricane. I'm not saying it is or it's not, but I saw in my dream that it is, that we'll have, that there's coming floods. And so prepare, get food, get water, be in prayer, be in obedience. Don't be playing with sin. Um, 
ask God what he wants you to do concerning when the war begins and when everything starts, like if he wants you to move or if he wants you to stay where you're at. Um, and about the LGBT community, for anybody out there watching that you feel like I'm offensive because I say that this is not something that it should be ex uh, promoted. If we all became homosexuals, we would go extinct as a human race. And this is all part of the depopulation agenda and they just want us all dead and they have different methods and this is just one more tactic that they use to get everybody on board so that we can stop having babies and also so that we can destroy our souls because if God created you a woman and you want to become a man or if God created you a man and you want to become a woman, you're never going to be truly happy because you are wired to become that person that God wired you to become. And as you transition into the opposite gender, you're going to go against everything that is in your own nature that makes you happy as a human being, because God made you a certain manner in a certain, in a certain manner. And if you don't tap into that manner that he made you into the nature of whom you are, you will never be happy. You're not going to be at peace. You're not going to be satisfied. It's all going to be superficial and vain and you're going to feel void that's never going to be filled because you're going to be living your life in a deception and all this is a huge deception and it comes from the pits of hell the devil dis uh, despises humanity and he knows that we were created in uniqueness and god made us all individually different and especially each gender is definitely different we're not the same at all we have very different wiring in our brains and in our hormones and in our organs and in our physical body and the moment we try to alter all that and change it we are going to go against our own nature which is gonna be bad for us and so this is all the tactic from the enemy to destroy the human race in every single possible way so i'm exhorting anybody out there if you think you struggle with any homosexual thoughts you gotta pray god will deliver you that's a spirit and he definitely has shown me it's a spirit i've seen people get delivered there's plenty of testimonies about people that were born homosexuals and god delivered them and rebuked that demon out and so therefore there is no excuse we need to repent from the the agenda that they're trying to deceive us all with concerning the lgbtq and if everybody was always encouraging promoting it celebrating it pride month this and that everybody's gonna choose to be gay especially the youth at the end because that's gonna be so uh, like like i said in the beginning of the video the media modifies our behaviors and our ideology and it's so repetitively that all these young people that are watching all these things concerning pride month and you know celebrating the gays and making everybody think it's okay and normalizing it they're gonna eventually choose to be gay especially since everything is so backwards and upside down concerning the dating dynamic because of the technology as well that has changed the way people date and like each other and are attracted to each other it's gonna cause a major impact on the young minds and a lot of them are going to choose to be gay just because it's easier to be gay in the sense for them in their head to date as somebody who is in the same gender because of how complicated is becoming the gender wars that they have created is gotten so out of control that it's going to be like the best solution for some young people to just choose the same gender and this is all a deception this is not from god this is from demons you guys Hell is real. You cannot be homosexual. That's a sin. The Bible clearly specifies that it's a sin. And I don't understand how there's so many people that are calling themselves Christians and fearful of God and approving of this agenda. This is an agenda to kill us, to destroy us, to make us depressed, to castrate the people and to, you know, make them something that they're not. So I'm just sharing with you guys this dream. May God bless you and have a great day.